Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar here. Today's topic is calling yourself to account when you're wrong. <laughs> um, so, you know, what we're, we're in an election year. It uh, seems, you know, certainly in the United States of America, we're trying to decide who our various Congress people and senators are. The president, of course. <laughs> it's like it's Biden and Trump again. Uh, deja vu. But also, uh, there's uh, presidential elections all around the world. And we're seeing <laughs> people who are basically presidents for life. <laughs> They've either, you know, done away with or actually killed <laughs> any, any opposition, anyone who was able to mount a sizable opposition to them. Or they just control the populace for whatever reason. Um, and they've been president for <laughs> decades. So these people will never call themselves to account and say, look, I'm wrong. And there's a lack of integrity there. So for me, I've held different positions. I've been let go. I've been fired. <laughs> so I have to say, look, is there something I could have done better? Was it in unjust <laughs> letting go of me? Or was it something that I could have done? Was I not competent enough for the position or something like that? So you have to call yourself to account. Even in a, a marriage, you know? For those of you guys that have married and divorced, what went wrong? Was there something that you could have done better? And this is life. This is true integrity. That's it for now. It's just a short message. I'm finishing this run. If you want to be a physician assistant or physician associate like me, please uh, feel free to contact me. I'll leave my email in the description. Take care. Peace.